I haven't done this type of video in a long time and I think it's the perfect time to do one. Today, we're gonna be talking about camera bags, specifically this Peak Design tote bag. I made a video about this bag a while back, but I haven't done an update on the camera bag. So today, we're gonna talk about the camera bag and if I still like it or I just completely hate it. This is Peak Design's tote bag. This is like an everyday camera bag. So you can pretty much bring it anywhere. First of all, let's talk about the design, okay? I really, really like the design of this bag. This backpack has such a simple but nice design where I don't feel like I'm carrying a big camera bag going on my everyday life. Like just going on to work, going to the mall, whatever it may be, I might have a camera in there, but it doesn't look like your typical camera bag. The really, really big camera bag that everybody knows, damn, he's carrying around a camera bag. That's why for me, I really want a bag that just looks like a normal backpack, but protects my camera gear. That's where Peak Design tote bag comes into play. This camera bag has nice pockets. On both sides, there are zippers where you can remove your gears either side. So you wanna move it from the left, you can move it from the left. You wanna move it from the right, you can remove it from the right. It also has a top slots where you can still access the entire bag. So pretty much think of this bag as like just this big empty bag with camera holders inside and you can access it from the top or from either side. Pretty cool because you can adjust and change the camera divider however you like. So if you have really big gears, change it that way. So that's pretty nice about Peak Design camera bags. They have that a lot in their camera bags where you can change how the divider sits. It has a really nice carrying handle and it also has a zipper right in the front. The zipper right in the front has nice slots for SD cards, tools, small things, wire cables, memory cards, small things like that. You can even probably put your wallet in there, keys, and it holds it pretty nicely. On the inside, along with the divider, you have a slot to put your laptop. I find that it fits the 14 inch laptop perfectly fine. I haven't really tried a 16 inch, but it might be really tight because the 14 inch fits perfectly, the 16 inch might be kind of tight for it. So I don't know, might go for a bigger bag if you have a 16 inch laptop. Other than that, that's all the slots there is to this backpack. And the thing that I don't like about it is that I wish there was like a water bottle case or maybe a tripod holder. Down here, you have to connect straps around here and then your tripod hangs out the bottom. I mean, it's fine, but it's not really a quick accessible thing. You have to install the clip. It's not a hard installation, but you have to carry that clip around everywhere. And then after you put your tripod here, you tighten the strap to hold your tripod there. And that's kind of how you do it. You just gotta do it every single time that you have the tripod, you wanna take it out. So it's one of those things where you can't just put it on the side of the backpack and it stays. I don't always bring around that strap because it's just an extra thing to bring around. For this backpack, I do have a slot where I put it in and that's the back slot right here. This slot right here is the same slot that you're supposed to put your shoulder strap in if you just wanna carry the bag. But I never really put the shoulder strap in there because I kind of want to use it as a backpack and not just carry this around. Because if I want to carry this around, I just want to just carry my camera around, right? This strap itself is not the best strap that I have felt. After a while, it does feel uncomfortable. That's pretty much the complaint I have about this bag is that the tripod holder and the strap isn't really that nice. Other than that, this is a really dope bag. I don't take it on my trips like if i'm going somewhere this isn't a bag i take because i need a little bit more storage i need a little bit more gear protection and with this there's zipper all over the place when you're traveling let's say overseas there's a lot of pickpocketers and there's a lot of people who are really good at doing it and i really don't want to look back and the zippers are open they'll freak me out because my camera is probably gone if the zippers are open so bags like this it's a nice everyday bag for where I'm at right now, but it's not a good traveling bag. Would I recommend this camera bag? The answer is, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. This is that creamy version and you can see that it still looks nice. It's not super dirty because you can just wipe it off easily, but it does get dirty. If I were to go back, this is a dope color design and I love the way it looks, but I'd probably get the black one. I've been really into black products lately, so that would probably be the one that I picked. 
But hey, this white one, still pretty nice. If you guys are interested in this bag because it's an amazing bag by Peak Design, I'm gonna leave a link in the comment below. Go check that bag out. Check out what you guys think. They have a, other amazing stuff there. All right, you guys, make sure you hit that like button if you guys like contents like this so I know to make more camera bag reviews. But whatever you guys think, let me know in the comment below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.